we're being told that there can be no peace because of Hamas that has been designated by the Europeans and Americans as a terrorist organization. There can be no peace because of Hamas, they claim. I just wonder how many of you know who were the main people that propagated and supported Hamas. Have a guess, my friends. Who could it be? Thank you. Thank you. Can you believe that? The very people that complain about an organization, they say a terrorist organization, that is a hurdle for peace, are the very people who established and supported it in the first place. Now you might ask the question, why would they support a group that they regarded to be terrorists? Why? Why would they do such a foolish thing? Because they realized that the PLO and the Palestinian Authority were trying to go down the peace process. They wanted the United Nations and the world to do justice for them. And they realized that they could not win a war, a battle with Israel that was a superpower and had another superpower that was its bully and its friend. So to accomplish the goal, my friends, if you want all the land, you can't have the Palestinian Authority. You can't have the PLO wanting to negotiate peace with you because how do you make the green turn to white? How do you steal all the land? You can't enter into peaceful negotiations. So in 87, 1987, they propped up Hamas and supported it financially. These are not controversial conspiratorial theories, my friends. Go and do the digging and the research yourself. So they go and support a terrorist organization to create the monster that they need in order to accomplish the goal.